Amano, looks like you're up to some organic chemistry again. Hi, I'd like to go over a real challenging question with you today called the spiro compound. I would say about 9 out of 10 organic chemistry teachers would get this wrong. We don't come across spiro compounds so much, so you don't get to practice it that often. Come along and let me show you what I have here. Okay, Dr. Amano. Yeah, you all got destroyed on this today in the study group, but that's okay. It's good to get destroyed on a question so we can do some learning. Notice there's going to be two rings here. This ring, not counting the ring joining both of them, not, put, not counting this carbon, but if you looked here, you have one, two, three, four, and if you go this way, one, two, three, four, five. So there's two rings. Go to the ring that's the smaller ring, and you're going to call this carbon number one. You've heard that, right? Position one is not here, but position one would be right here. If that's going to be position one, now that could have been position one as well, but since there's a substituent here, you're going to go this way with it. So this is one, two, three, four, and this would be five. Now, I can either go this way or this way, but again, the substituent is here, so give it the lowest number. So I'm going to call this six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So let's name it first without doing any stereochemistry. You're going to have 7-methyl. Now, if you look at the connecting carbon, there's four carbons here and there's five carbons here in ascending order. You heard that right. It's opposite of what we do for bicyclo compounds. So you're going to have four, five, and there's 10 carbons, decan, and the OH is on the number two, so it's two all. So putting it together, we get 7-methyl, spiro, 4,5-decan, 2-all. Now, here's the hard part. There's actually three chiral centers. There's one here. That's the one most people would miss. Two, and there's three. If you go to number two, that's easy enough. The OH has got the first priority. Notice this is a wedge. So obviously, number four was a hydrogen as a dash. This path... I'll call R1, and this path up here would be R2. Um, well, the OH has got the highest priority, then this path will be second, this is third, and this is fourth, and therefore going clockwise gives you a 2R. So that's easy enough. Now the hard part. Let's go to number five. Now if you go to number five, the hard part is if you're looking standing in front of something, this group is coming out of the ring. So as you can see, this is coming out of the ring. So therefore, I'll call that group R4. I'll show you why R4 in a minute. If you go this way, that's going to be the highest priority path. I'll call that R1. Who would be R2? Well, you have a carbon, carbon with a methyl. This is a carbon, carbon, carbon. The OH comes much later, so therefore that would be R2, going up would be R3, and this is R4. Notice I'm going to connect 1 to 2, it looks like an R, but since group priority number 4 has a wedge, it's going to be opposite, so that's going to be an S. That is real tricky, so that's going to give me a 5S. The last one is easy, this is going down for the methyl, so down is a dash. So the hydrogen goes up, and I'll call that group number four. Who would be number one? Well, obviously, that would be the path going this way. That would be one. So, and then going down would be two. So as you can see, you're going it down here. It's clockwise, looks like an R. Since number four has a wedge, you're going to switch your thoughts. It's an S. So putting it all together, we get a two R. 5S, 7S, 7 methyl spiro, 4, 5 deck, and 2 all. I hope that helps. That is a really challenging problem, and if you want to call it overkill, call it overkill. But for the guys that are going for the 30, it is going to be great practice on going over nomenclature as well as stereochemistry. All right, good day to you. Thanks, Dr. Romano. I just want to remind um, the students that might know to join our study group, our Dad Destroyer and Oat Destroyer study group. They can find that on Facebook, and they can also go to our Orgo Man YouTube Absolutely. channel. Absolutely. See you in study group, guys. Bye-bye. It's all free.
Thanks, Dr. Romano. I'm going for that 30. Good day to you, sir.